Okay, Coach, congrats on uh, proving to 5-8 and eight on the Big West Conference. Um, how did you feel like you could close out all those three sets? What do you think that you did well in those three sets tonight? Well, it was a, uh, a team effort. Uh, our point production was very high uh, in the second and third set. Uh, our kills were uh, at a very high level. I thought the offense was run well. I thought the uh, match plan, game plan was uh, executed very well. A couple glitches here and there, but overall I thought the team performed very well. Um, the, the game, uh, sports in general are a mental game, uh, just as they are physical. What do you tell your players before they get on the court uh, to prepare them mentally before the game? You know, I, I don't do too much voodoo, and uh, I, I, I think I tell it to them straight. Uh, this was a, a difficult match to get up for. I think emotionally, when you look at a team that's 0-11 uh, in conference and then 0-22 overall, it, it's kind of easy to take them lax. Uh, we keep concentrating on ourselves, trying to focus on playing better volleyball. And uh, with the season that we're having, it's not exactly what we want, but we're seeing a lot of improvements in, uh, within the team and within the individual players, and sometimes that doesn't show up. So there's a mental component of showing up every day for practice and being ready and then being ready for matches like this. So that's the type of discussion that we have with our players. Congrats on tonight. You improved to 5-8 and eight on the season in Big West Conference. What are some things that you felt like your team did well tonight? I think we did a good job of keeping our composure and not letting, whether we were in a lead, because sometimes when we were in a lead, we'd start to get a little comfortable, like, oh, we have a lot of points, we don't have to really play that hard. But we just kept being calm regardless if we were down or up, and that really helped us tonight. You are a young team. You're going to be leaving your team. What are some of the things that you're trying to tell these young girls uh, so you can kind of set them up for success in the coming years? I just want them to, like, always remember to stay positive and like I just feel like if they work hard and like listen to our coaches and like trust the system that they would do just fine because we have a lot of talent like even if it's not seen on the court like in practice like we have amazing practices and I think these girls will really excel within the next either ne next year they're going to be a completely different season like it's going to be great. You had a lot of kills in the third set um, what do you feel like you attribute that to most? Um, well, first of all, our passing was great, setting was great. Um, in the first two sets, um, I was kind of struggling with my approach and then just fixed that, got my feet to the ball in the last, uh, in the last set, and that really helped. You know, the coaches are constantly talking to you during the game, giving you pointers, and just taking those and applying those to your game really helps. The Matadors improved to 5-8 and eight on their season with their win against Cal State Fullerton. They will be back here Friday night hosting Long Beach State. This is Anna Logan reporting for the CSUN Sports Network.